Welcome back, everyone, to Boppin' Often with Loft. Today, 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 we're gonna be discussing a topic that I think a lot of people might not actually care about. Does it really matter? I'm just, I'm just saying, if you watching it, hi, how you doing? If you guys wanna help support the channel, Patreon link down below. I also will be having membership on YouTube, so you can join Patreon, quote unquote, there as well. It will be coming soon, and I will make a video about that once it once it goes through just waiting on verification and of course if you enjoy this content make sure you subscribe that way you're notified for more so what is it actually like being a mentor i know people that have the ability to become mentors and they don't want to i know people that are mentors and i know people that are mentors that shouldn't be mentors but they are mentors i know what you guys are, i know i know what you guys are thinking but for a long time there's been a stigma about mentors where you know all mentors suck all mentors are, are very rude and things like that. You know, I wanna tell you the reality of being a mentor uh, or at least an actual mentor, okay? And I wanna kind of walk you through the life of one. So the first thing is the perception of mentors. You're supposed to be someone who's knowledgeable about the game. You don't have to be good, okay? I, <laughs> a lot of people think you have to be good at the game. You don't have to be good, you just have to be smart. As long as you know what to do, as long as you know how to explain things to other people, you're pretty much doing your job. That's quote unquote Square Enix version. Um, as long as you, you don't you don't have to be like the god at like healing or the god at tanking or the god at DP Like you don't have to be a god as long as you just kind of understand and, and you know what's going on you, You're good to be a mentor. I will say that they made mentor certification a little bit harder this expansion So that's kind of good for the bad mentors But we're supposed to be helping people We're supposed to be you know making sure that their life is easier whether you're a new player or not now the perception of What mentors think of others? Everybody sucks, okay? I mean, I'm just saying, we got the crown, you guys don't sit there and shut up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, look, don't unsubscribe, I'm kidding. The way that I see people is that we're all just players. You can look to me for advice. That's that. I'm nothing special. Uh, that's pretty much all it is. I go into every dungeon, every raid, you know, every whatever, with the same thought process as everybody else. I'm here to level, or I'm here to just do a mentor roulette uh, to help you guys through it. I'm not really here to explain things if it's not needed to be explained. A lot of the times people just know what to do already. They looked up guides and I'm not one of those mentors who just hop in and be like, this is what we're doing, this is how you do it, this is okay, do this. this is I wait until the raid happens, I wait until the dungeon happens and if anybody needs help, that's when I step in. Otherwise, I'm just a player playing the game. That's how I do my thing as a mentor. With that being said, you know, what is it like for people to look at a mentor? You know, what is it like in the other players shoes. So there's different types of people that kind of look at mentors a certain way. We have the sprouts. Usually sprouts look at mentors like we're supposed to be looked at. You know? They look at us for help. Like that's pretty much what, what they do. Um, some sprouts want to act a little bit more knowledgeable over the mentor. You know, that, that happens where you kind of get that battle of like wits, so to speak. Um, and I try not to actually get into that battle, you know, um, sometimes I'll say how to do like an extreme or something like that that I get filled into and then, and then the Sprout's kind of talking to me and they're, you know, making it seem like I don't know what I'm talking about and stuff like that. That happens from time to time, but most of the time Sprouts are very, very willing to listen and that's the joy of being a mentor is I get to help people, especially, you know, Sprouts. I literally queue for mentor roulette throughout the whole entire day just to help people. I just like, I like dungeoning and I like helping people. I mean, that's pretty much what it is when I play. Then you have the... Uh, the regular players, right? You have the players that aren't Sprouts, but you know, they might be new to content and stuff like that. There's two sides of those players. You have the players that look to you for advice, kind of like, you know, like the Sprouts would, where it's like, oh, hey, mentor, you know, what do you do? Um, they don't usually ask, but when you say something, they'll usually listen. You know, it's like the, they'll look at you for advice. That's what you're supposed to be there for. Then you have the other half of the players that are not Sprouts. And those are the players that want to challenge the mentor, that wants to get the mentor to start flaming. They, they really want to get on that mentor's bad side. I've seen it a lot. Um, basically having that crown, not gonna lie, is kind of like having a target on your back. People associate you with all the mentors, and I've seen some bad ones leveling up, up myself when I first started playing, yes. But people associate you with all of that. So, no, so most of the time when you are in situations where someone thinks you're that way, but you're not actually that way, they're gonna challenge you. But that's kind of an instance where I've been called names. Um, I've been in extremes where I've been called names because, you know, I'm a mentor and, you know, they wanna treat you with disrespect. 
And I try not to be a part of it, but it happens inevitably. It doesn't happen all the time, thank goodness, but it does happen. The best you could do is just keep your cool if you are a mentor that's in that situation. I just personally say, you know, I'm not gonna play with this. I'm not gonna be harassed all game. If they had a mute feature, that'd be cool. But like, if we're in an extreme, we can't really mute the person while we're trying to talk to other players. And it's very, very bad. We, we kind of have a vote. Are we gonna kick the player that's being rude or are we just gonna remove me from the equation? Most of the time they just remove the other person from the equation. I've been in extremes where players are like, oh yeah, no, I know that guy with quickness. Yeah, yeah, I've had him as a mentor in my other extremes. He's actually a really good teacher. He's very good help, he's very helpful. Like that type of stuff makes me feel good because I do <laughs> roulette a lot. And so the fact that people know who I am and can back me up when people are rude like that is a very, it, it, it's just kind of a blessing in its own, it's awesome. So I mean, that's kind of the feel of just being a mentor, right? You have the sprouts that kind of look to you for advice. You have the regular players that sort of look to you for advice. Then you have the other side of the players that just want to be rude. They want to get a rise out of you. You know, it's kind of like police officers, right? Not all of them are bad, but you have the selective individuals that want to rise even the good ones and get them angry. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that with mentors. Now I'm not saying we're cops or anything like that, but you have a distaste for a large portion of them, you know, to your, to your prior experience, therefore like every single one is an enemy. And that's just not what I do. I love to try to help. I love to try to do my best to help. I, even if an extreme has failed, I'll, I'll say, hey, if you guys wanna have a private room, I'll go ahead and carry you guys through it real quick. It takes a few seconds and you guys can get your clear. Like I do stuff like that because I really do wanna help players. I do really wanna help individuals. Now I do know there are a lot of bad mentors. I do know there are a lot of people. And you know, I, I actually get on the players that are bad mentors more often than not it's pretty funny i don't do it all the time because they don't really do it all the time but there are those selective few minutes i think it's gotten better over the years but usually when i see a mentor especially in an extreme like acting a way they shouldn't be acting i'll say something about it and not in a rude way but you know just calling them out like hey that's not what you're supposed to be doing we're here to help um something like a mentor will come in and say hey just cue unsync that's what it's for and stuff that are like level 50 extremes it's like dude no matter what extremes I queue for, that's what we're doing the roulette for. We're doing it to fill. We're doing it to help. Like, you don't have a choice about what we do. You can leave, right? You're not punished for leaving. You just leave the... the, the if you don't want to do the roulette, you just leave. Take a 30-minute penalty. Are mentors not allowed to do that? Some people say they shouldn't. But realistically, if you don't have the time to do it, you don't feel like you're up to it, leave. That's all it is to it. Everybody should have that right to leave, which is why mentors aren't punished harsher than the actual players. We all get 30 minute penalties for leaving. That's it, right? Um, very rarely I'll leave. I'll usually only leave an MSQ because I'm not sitting through that. Look, a lot of y'all might be like, you should sit through an MSQ. I just usually leave those. I'm not about to sit there and watch cutscenes for no reason. Like I said, I queue for it multiple times a day. I don't get anything for queuing. I just like helping people. And whether you're on that side or not, I'm not sitting through an MSQ. I will queue for it. I will do anything else, but an MSQ, I am not being a part of, so I will usually leave it um, if I'm paired with that mentor. Really. It rarely happens, but when it does, I do leave. But like I said, you know, I usually call out those mentors that are really, really bad or those mentors that are saying things that they shouldn't be saying because I wanna, I became a mentor because I wanted to kind of right the wrongs of the other mentors. Yet, you know, it doesn't really help because sometimes I still get targeted. I do like hearing comments of like most of the time when I'm going in, like, oh, you know, you're the best mentor that I've seen, or, you know, you're actually a helpful mentor. Wow, I've never seen a mentor be helpful. Wow, you're not actually, like those type of comments mean a lot to me because it means that even though, you know, the odds of me changing the world in Eorzea um, as a mentor is not happening, the fact that slowly but surely, you know, I'm, I'm having some of these players have a better experience with mentors and a better experience with the game in general um, is very, very awesome. So I just kind of wanted to explain my thought process on what it's like being a mentor, the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, um, kind of just final thoughts. I love helping. That's why I became a mentor. I want to help. I want to make sure that the players that need the help get the help. Um, I'm not there to be, you know, all knowing God. If you need help, I'm here to help you. If you don't need help and you want to clear it, by all means, clear it. I've ran extremes and I've didn't say anything because the players just really already knew what they were doing. I don't hop in and be like, hey, this is what we do. I mean, if it looks like we need cleaning up because we're wiping a lot, we'll clean it up. But for the most part, like, I can carry the game through my play, right? I don't have to always type and get everybody on the same page if they already pretty much know what to do. As far as the, the players that, you know, kind of treat mentors poorly, it happens quite often. 
it happens a little bit more often than not. I've been called, uh, I don't know if I want to say it. I guess I'll say it. I've been called um, pretty much a butthole. Not not what you guys are thinking, but that's kind of the best way to say it. It was another selective pair of words. It, it, it wasn't the curse word, it was another word, but it basically means butthole. I've been called that um, numerous times um, just because I didn't agree with something or, you know, I don't know. Like sometimes you just attacked just because, why not? Right. I mean, I'll send reports when I have to. If it's something small, I don't usually send a report, but I will send a report if it's something major. And then, like I said, with, with like the bad mentors and whatnot, I'm, I just try my best when I see them. Um, a lot of the mentors that are in mental roulettes don't actually speak. They'll just play. Um, very, <laughs> a lot of them don't speak at all, honestly, even in extremes. They just play it out. They don't really talk that much. Um, I don't know if that's due to playing on console or if they just don't like talking, but usually they will just kind of be quiet so that's pretty cool and then like i said you do have those bad mentors which i try to keep in check you know i try to keep in line although it's not my job to do it i still try to my, my best to like call them out and say it's not okay because if i just sit there and witness that happening that's going to be what's marked is left on the sprouts that's going to be what the players are, are expecting from mentors and I, I don't really want that so um that was my final thoughts just Probably was a long video. I'm gonna try to cut it down because a lot of it probably you don't care about. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As I said, if you guys wanna help support the channel, Patreon down below. And then also I will be getting memberships that I will be making a video for that. And of course, subscribe if you like my content. That way you're notified for the next piece of content that I make. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, you know always say. Thank you for what? Popping often. Real often. Yeah, yeah.